Hello again, this is McKay with BYU Software Training, and today I'll be showing you how to correctly format your pages for your electronic theses and dissertations. Now, traditionally, we'll want to create three different sections for our page numbers. The first section includes the preliminary pages, like your title page, your abstract, and anything before your table of contents. It will have what I call ghost page numbers. These are page numbers that will not actually show up on the page, but when we get around to creating our table of contents, we'll want them to show up on our table of contents as if they were on the page. The second section will be our actual table of contents, and our list of tables and table of figures if they are there. In this second section, we'll want Roman numeral page numbers continuing from the first section, but we'll actually want them to show up on the page this time. Our third section will begin right before where our actual thesis begins. Here we want to switch from Roman numerals back to normal Arabic numerals, and we also want to restart to at page 1. So with that all in mind, the first thing I want to do is toggle on the spacing symbols by clicking on this paragraph symbol in the Home tab. This is a helpful step that lets me see spacing symbols as I add them. The next step is to add section breaks in between our three sections. The section breaks are going to allow me to switch up the page number settings multiple times without affecting the page numbers in the other sections. I'll first add one in between the preliminary pages and the table of contents. Click inside the end of the last page before your table of contents and go to Layout, click on Breaks, and then choose Continuous under Section Breaks. Once that's there, I'll add another one after the table of contents, list of tables or table of figures, whichever comes last. Repeat this same process by clicking at the end of the page and inserting another continuous section break. After this is done, I'll double click within the header to make sure that I have three different sections at the beginning of my document. One, two, and three. Looks like we're good to go, so I'll move on to adding my page numbers. Because we don't want page numbers to actually show up in section 1, we'll format the page numbers without actually adding them. Click inside either the header of the footer of section 1, wherever your page numbers are going to go, and then go to Insert, Page Number, and then choose Format, Page Number. Change the number format to lowercase Roman numerals, and then hit OK. Let's move on to section 2. Click inside the footer or header here. Now, this is an important step. Before going any further, go to the header and footer tab and make sure this setting, linked to previous, is turned off. If you don't do that, you'll run into a lot of issues when we go further. Go back to the insert tab, choose page number, format page number, and change it to lowercase roman numerals, then select continue from previous section. Hit OK. Now that our page numbers are formatted correctly, we can add them to our document. Click Page Number, and then choose to add the page number to the upper right corner of your page, or bottom middle, or choose whatever option is required from your department. If everything worked correctly, we should now see no page numbers in our preliminary pages. Page numbers starting at page 3, or whatever page our table of contents is at, and then the page numbers starting at Arabic numeral 1, after the table of contents for the intro to our thesis. If you don't see the page numbers starting at section 3 like I am, you can always add page numbers manually to the section by formatting the page numbers using insert, page number, format page number, and then changing the page numbers to Arabic numerals and starting at 1 before adding the page numbers to this section as well. Again, make sure link to previous is turned off for this section as well. 